Hello everyone and welcome back to the Komodo vlog spot. Uh, I want to take a little bit of time to uh, hopefully enlighten some people if you're interested on towing slalom skiers. Um, it really depends on the caliber of slalom skier you're towing, but there are some really good general rules that you need to follow. So first things first is when you have a rider behind you, you want to make sure your hand is always on the throttle. Even if like our boat, you have perfect pass or zero off. Um, those systems themselves are specifically designed to maintain the speed of the vessel while you're towing a rider. So it uses GPS. So right now I'll turn my zero off on and uh, get you going up to speed. So you want to slowly roll into the throttle while you're pulling his gear. And then you're going to go. And once it reaches speed, it's going to be super important at this point that you drive in a perfectly straight line. Um, if you get veer off and you start swerving the boat with this gear behind you, if they're out in their corner, the line length will shorten and it'll pull them off their ski, especially if they're really good riders. So I like to always be scanning the horizon while I'm towing a skier and make sure I know, especially from the moment I pull them out of the water, where all the other boats are on the river. So right now I'm cruising down. I don't actually have a skier behind me right now, so I can show you some wild moves. Um, so when you're going into a corner, the first thing you want to do is you want to wait, slow the boat down, disengage your perfect pass or zero up. You're going to make a left hand turn to start, and then you're going to roll back in into your own weight. So the skier should be on the outside wake at this point. Um, so even though the boat's going really slow, they shouldn't be sinking. All right, and now we're right back into our old boat path, going in a perfectly straight line. Re-engage the zero off, you hear that beep? And let's say someone crashes at this point. First things first, you back all the way off the throttle. You make sure your observer puts the flag up. You're gonna let the waves run past you. Always pick up a skier on the driver's side. So we're just gonna go right through our own waves. No power turning here, nice idle. Go back to our rider. Keep them on the driver's side and swoop and pick them up. So. You know, this is all done at very low throttle. And again, my hand is never leaving the throttle. So I'm picking up my rider. Now, as new to telling slalom skiers, it's really important that you watch them capture the rope. And the rope's actually gonna slide through their hands until they get the handle. So these boats weigh like 3,000 pounds. So you can imagine if you stay in gear, that handle's gonna hit them. It's gonna have a lot of force, it's gonna jerk them. So I like to wait till the handle gets close to him and then just kind of tap the boat into reverse nice and easy. So when the rider actually grabs onto the handle, the boat's not still trying to pull him forward. Uh, that'll help you as a driver um, because you won't have to drive back around and go give them back the rope. So again, you know, nice, easy ramp up. They have the handle, make sure they're directly behind the boat. If they're off behind the boat at an angle, Obviously that pole's not gonna be straight. It's gonna pull them off to an angle, especially on a slalom ski. So you want them directly behind the boat. Nice, easy ramp, roll into the throttle, nice and easy. Watch their ski tip come out of the water and give them the beats. Wait for the beat. And that's that. Hey, thank you guys for watching. For more tips and tricks, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.